GM in hot water, a judge told General Motors it has to face a class action lawsuit over bad transmissions. About 800,000 vehicles, including Chevy Silverados, Colorados, Camaros, and Corvettes are involved. We did a story on the Car Edge channel about Volvos and caught on fire. We interviewed the folks that uh, were impacted by that. I actually received emails from countless people talking about these issues with their Chevy products, Dad. GM, transmission issues, class action lawsuit, no bueno, not good. This is for five model years from 2015 to 2019, 800,000 vehicles impacted. And, and the beauty of it, here, here, here is the beauty of it. Um, GM told their dealers to tell their customers that the way these vehicles shifted was normal. And yeah, it is normal in a defective transmission. It's not normal in a non-defective transmission. So, so the idea that you know you have a problem and you want to pass it off as, well, it's just normal for this transmission. Well, it's just normal because the transmission's a piece of junk, okay? It's normal because it wasn't designed properly. Um, it's normal because it ain't shifting properly. And, and, and so to just say, yeah, it's, uh, get used to it, folks. It's, it's just normal. Yeah, it's normal when it's not right. That's what it's. Do you remember, you don't, you probably don't remember the film Young Frankenstein, um, but, but, but Igor, not Igor in the film, Igor was sent off to pick up a brain and he went to a, a play and he picked up a brain and it said on the brain, abnormal. And, and so Dr. Frankenstein asked him, he said, well, whose brain was it? And he said, it said, Abby. Abby normal. Well, yeah, but when it, when it's Abby normal, it don't work right. It, you know, it's pretty simple. Let me share some more information. Bob's port per Reuters. The issue concerns the 8L45 and 8L908 speed automatic gearboxes sold from model years 2015 to 2019, as noted earlier, impacted the Chevy Silverados, Colorados, Camaros, and Corvettes as well as various GMC products like the Sierra and Yukon, as well as the Cadillac, CT, uh, CTS, CT6, and Escalade. Even after repairs, the transmissions apparently, quote, shudder and shake in higher gears and, quote, hesitate and lurch in lower runs. Originally filed back in 2018, the lawsuit also accuses the automaker of instructing dealerships to assure customers that harsh shifts, as you said, where normal GM's counter argument to all of this is that, well, most people never even experienced it. Um, so why, why yeah, should we have a class action lawsuit? They were they were hoping most people didn't didn't realize it, you know, and 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 the shutter and sh it sounds like they're describing old people shutter and shake. And <laughs> the other story for today is really you've got to be kidding me. EV depreciation. Holy cow, man. EVs are the boat anchors of car prices as used vehicles. Wild EV depreciation means you can get a low mileage used lucid for nearly half its original price. So vehicles with under 5000 miles on them are selling for almost half of their original manufacturer suggested retail price. This is happening with Lucid Dad. It's a bad situation over there. Very bad well, situation. If, if they're selling for close to 50% off the MSRP as pre-owned, that means that the dealers are buying them probably for 60% off and, and they're still making a decent amount going to sell. But what that indicates to me is there's no way you should, unless you're planning to keep the damn thing forever, there is no way you should buy an EV. You should only lease them. I mean, let them assume all the risk because, well, obviously they know it's the, I mean, vehicles aren't supposed to depreciate 50, 60% the first year. No. 20 25% maybe, 50, 60%? Absolutely not. Um, you know, now, I've never considered a Lucid, you know, but at about 40% of its original value, I just might have to. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where I charge the damn thing, um, but, yeah, if, if, if you want to lose money in a hurry, Buy a Lucid and then sell it shortly after you buy it.